Team Mojaveton participated in both the 2005 and the 2007 DARPA Grand and Urban Challenges for autonomous cars and we had a great time with that. We learned a lot and so when the Robotics Challenge came along we thought we're in. We're heavily student oriented. Um, about half of our team is students at Colorado Mesa University and then we have five professors from Colorado Mesa University on the team so it's very much an academically oriented team. The robot design came from um, Carl Castleton, the lead software developer. Carl has a uh, many years of experience with robotics and he was convinced that doing a quadruped design and the inherent stability of that would be far superior to a biped. It's really easy for it to uh, balance itself. You don't have to worry about dynamic equilibrium with the robot. The 3D printing aspect of it has driven a lot of it. It's, uh, it's helped us to do really intricate, complex designs. Uh, we can iterate fast. We can um, do a lot of experiments without wasting a lot of time and effort on someone else's behalf. And really, most importantly, it's strong and it's, it makes the robot really light, which we think gives us an advantage. We've made extensive use of 3D plastic printing in both the design and the construction of the robot. And it's really that that has allowed us to produce a 37-pound robot. Well, my biggest worry was getting funding to go out there and actually participate, but I've gotten that taken care of. Honestly, it's a little intimidating going up against like the million-dollar robots and everything. But from what I've seen, I think we stand a good chance.